Assalamu alaikum everyone. This is Amar bin Saleem from the Lums Office of Advancements. I'm glad to be welcoming you to another podcast. Today we will be talking about the MS and PhD chemistry programs that we are offering through the Sayyid Babur Ali School of Science and Engineering at Lums. And for this discussion, I've been joined by two guests from the same schools, Dr. Falak Sher and Ms. Maimuna Zafar. Dr. Falak Sher is the chairman of the Department of Chemistry at Lums and Ms. Memuna is currently pursuing her MS in chemistry and is in her first year, yeah. right? All right. Dr. Felek, we'll start with you. Thank you very much for joining us today first. Uh, why should someone opt for the Sayyid Babur Ali School of Science and Engineering if they want to go for the MS or PhD chemistry programs? Uh, so first of all, like our faculty, वो सारी वेल नोन यूनिवर्सिटी से इंटरनेशनल यूनिवर्सिटी से पीएडी और मोस्टली पोस्ट डॉक एंड वर्क एक्सपीरियंस में उनका वहां पे है सेकंड जो हमारा करिकुलम है वो हमने अमेरिकन केमिकल सोसाइटी की रिकमेंडेशन को देख के अकॉर्डिंगली डिजाइन किया हुआ एंड ऑफ कोर्स कीपिंग विद इन द लिमिट्स ऑफ द एचएससी उनकी रिक्वायरमेंट्स को भी देखते हैं साथ तीसरा जो हमारा स्टूडेंट बॉडी है क्योंकि जो स्टूडेंट जो है ना वो सिर्फ क्लास के अंदर नहीं सीखते थे आल्सो लर्न लार्ट फ्रॉम देयर पेयर्स एंड अदर स्टूडेंट्स एंड अदर एक्टिविटीज तो जो लम्स का ओवरऑल एनवायरनमेंट है और जिस तरीके के स्टूडेंट बॉडी है यहां पे उसमें बहुत सी लर्निंग अपॉर्चुनिटीज होती हैं एंड देन इन एडिशन टू दैट हमारा जो इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर है इट इज सेकंड टू नॉन एट लीस्ट इफ यू कंपेयर विद इन पाकिस्तान सो आपको रिसर्च की अपॉर्चुनिटीज आपकी ट्रेनिंग की अपॉर्चुनिटीज एक्सपेरिमेंटल रिसर्च क्योंकि केमिस्ट्री इज एक्सपेरिमेंटल रिसर्च तो उसमें आपको जो एक्सपीरियंस विद इन पाकिस्तान कहीं और से मिल सकता है शायद उसमें से वन ऑफ द टॉप टू थ्री अगर आप प्लेसेस काउंट करेंगे तो उसमें लम्स एक होगा अच्छा आपने बात की हमारे पास काफ़ी ज़्यादा जो है फैकल्टी दे आर फॉरन क्वालिफाइड फैकल्टी आपको किस तरह से लगता है कि ये एक रोल प्ले करता है हमारी यूनिवर्सिटी की ओवरऑल ग्रोथ में हमारे प्रोग्राम के एक्सपोजर में कि हमारे पास फॉरन फैकल्टी हो जी उसमें देखें दो चीज़ें होती हैं वैन यू गो टू द टॉप यूनिवर्सिटीज़ ऑफ द वर्ल्ड फॉर एग्जाम्पल हमारे पास या तो यूएस के ग्रेजुएट्स हैं या जर्मनी है यू के उसके अलावा कोई और नहीं और उसमें भी टॉप यूनिवर्सिटीज हैं सो यू गो देयर एंड यू सी कि वाट आर द गैप्स एंड वाट आर द लिमिटेशन ऑफ आवर ग्रेजुएट फॉर्म्स इन पाकिस्तान कहाँ कहाँ पे गैप्स हैं कहाँ कहाँ पे वीकनेसेज हैं कौन सी चीज़ें ऐसी हैं जो हम उस तरह की चीज़ें नहीं कर रहे सो रेदर देन गोइंग लाइक वर्टिकली आप हमारा जो एजुकेशनल सिस्टम है जस्ट स्टार्ट गोइंग टू हॉरिजोंटली आफ्टर सर्टन लेवल बिकॉज यू जस्ट फ्रेट एन हाउस सो uh, so आपको वहाँ जा कर पता चलता है कि एक्चुअल दुनिया कहाँ पे जा रही है तो जब आपकी एक्सपोजर होगी वहाँ पे आप जाएंगे काम करेंगे और अपनी लिमिटेशंस को इम्प्रूव करेंगे वैन यू कम बैक देन यू रियली नो के कहाँ पे चीज़ों को बेहतर करने की ज़रूरत है और कैसे उसको ठीक करना है राइट 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 बिल्कुल सही एंड एज मैनी पीपल इन द इंडस्ट्री इवन इन इन दैकेडमिक सर्कल्स एज वेल नो कि हमारा जो हमारी जो यूनिवर्सिटी ओवरऑल इट्स रिसर्च इंटेंसिव यूनिवर्सिटी सो वील टॉक अबाउट द रिसर्च एवेन्यूज एज वेल बट फर्स्ट आई लाइक टू इंक्लूड मेमोना इन थर प्रोग्राम एज वेल मेमोना वॉट वॉज योर मोटिवेशन आपने क्यों डिसाइड किया कि मैं जो है आगे एम एस केमिस्ट्री प्रोग्राम को परस्यू करूँ कि लम्स में एक्चुअली केमिस्ट्री आई वॉज वेरी मच इन टू केमिस्ट्री इवन फ्राम द स्टार्ट इट वॉज वन ऑफ माई टॉप चॉइसिस Uh, not first priority, but it was one of my top choices uh, when I got graduated. So I wanted to pursue my f- higher studies, and for that I was into research. Okay. I was too much into research. Like, I wanted to go to a good research institute. Me, Jana tha, and for that I just then I shortlisted some institutes, and Sayed Babur Ali School was one of the top priorities. Uh, we we are actually the faculty and the course actually. prioritize the research program mm. your research skills right. and i actually wanted to work on my research capabilities i wanted to enhance that so i chose uh, lums and so i chose majorly ms program at lums theek hai bilkul sahi acha jab aapne baat ki research university mein jaane ki does lums ms program also give you opportunities to um, go to the industry work on active projects yeah matlab researchers ke sath engage hone ka while you are still studying and not working okay it's not the course design ms course design it's not actually industrial type design okay, okay. but uh, it majorly focuses on students having their capabilities how to read how to write how to design um, how to research how to learn research uh, apparatus handling lab handling it's not majorly industry based but of course there are some industry projects students work on uh, some of the teachers um, 
uh, ask their students to work on industrial industries sponsored programs okay. students work on those projects on those problems they target those issues and the research we do over here uh, it majorly focuses on the problem that the people face at an industry oh, yeah. we majorly target those issues we research on that and this is all about ms mein jo kaam ho raha hota acha theek hai so now that we are talking about industry and hum uh, research ke upar bhi aate hain research avenues ke upar but dr falak what are some of those employment opportunities that one could get once they graduate with an ms program or phd program okay so so maybe uh, so people can dis, uh, disagree or say maybe it's not a good idea but right from the beginning uh, our motivating motivation was ke ji hum students ko aise train kare ke if they want to pursue higher studies in the us and uk in the top universities they should be able to get admission over there and of course uh, some of the students they do not want to go there due to family reasons uh, they all get uh, some kind of uh, employment here in pakistan but majority of the students are pursuing that career and last year you may be surprised 27 students from our department they got fully funded scholarship from the usa from the usa and we are a small department okay and these are like only 29 students applied 27 got fully funded scholarship from the usa it's not fulbright it's not any other fund, pakistani funded scholarship okay. it is like scholarship from the us from the university from the university wow. and many of them got multiple offers right and, and these are the students who are not the top notch students of the public sector university mm. they are like some of them were like just average students okay. so we nurtured them we trained them we guided them and all of us we like i like 500 or 600 reference letter during this month even now and the students still applying we encourage them we guide them we mentor them and many of them go there but there are some students who do not go there uh, they they are getting jobs within pakistan and at least all of the students who, who are able to pass that written test none of them get like uh, rejection of the interview because they really do well in interview because the way they are trained here the way they get kind of holistic Uh, education and training here they are really able to do well in the interviews and they get jobs in the interviews now you talked about interviews when we talk about the admission criteria overall we tell our students that if you're applying to the phd program you need to have 18 years of edu- 18 years of education for ms you need to have 16 years of education then it's your uh, uh, testing requirements of course then it's also uh, the, uh, the the statement of purpose and also the letter of recommendations for getter but then for the phd program and i know that for sure to snap interviews together because so what's that like I mean, what are you actually looking for in a candidate uh, well in in phd uh, so of course we are kind of uh, recruiting those kind of students who for whatever other reasons they are not able to travel and go abroad but otherwise they have research passion and they really want to do here and they want to stay in pakistan Uh, so in addition to good academics uh, we really look at uh, the good attitude good habits and their students and kind of research passion uh, there are many students who are really good but they are not really focused are really not committed into research or doing thing like that so the, the purpose of the interview is ke to judge and gauge the students if he is really serious mm-hmm. if he really he or she wants to do phd within pakistan and really do well in the research or he or she is just applying for any phd admission so the purpose of interview is to gauge and judge and the second purpose is the, because there are some faculty members who are looking for specific skill in specific students so they wanted to know that this student knows the basic and fundamentals and has relevant relevant experience okay and do we also go for uh, for interviews uh, if you are evaluating someone's application for the ms program uh in some cases yes but most of the students are offered direct admissions mm-hmm. but if if there is some student uh, who is really good in one side but is not able to do well in tests or some other things mm-hmm. and we think that this uh, student needs to be uh, tested more or gauge more uh, in that case we can go for interview okay. but majority of the students they do get direct admission ms at level at, at, at the ms level okay so um we know ke agar kisi ne apply karna hai lums mein uh, kisi bhi graduate program ke liye uh, for, for example science school ke andar so unhone ek uh, lgat exam dena hai mm-hmm. that would be for their english and math skills of course and then there is a subject test as well yes. so memuna aapne bhi of course subject test mm-hmm. diya hoga so uski taiyari aapne kaise ki uh as such maine taiyari nahi ki thi 
और कुछ प्रैक्टिस कुछ आसान था बहुत नहीं इतना आसान इतना आसान नहीं था बट मेजरली आपका जो ग्रेजुएट ग्रेजुएट बैचलर्स का जो सिलेबस होता है ना दैट इज़ द सिलेबस ऑफ द टेस्ट तो अगर आपने अच्छे सी जी पी ए के साथ आप कंटिन्यू कर रहे हैं अपना ग्रेजुएट ग्रेजुएशन तो आप ईजिली इसमें एक्सेल कर सकते हैं टेस्ट में और मेजरली उसमें बहुत से स्टूडेंट्स जहाँ पे आई थिंक लैक करते हैं वो ये होता है कि स्टूडेंट जस्ट मेजरली फोकस ऑन वन स्पेशलाइज फील्ड बट द टेस्ट मेजरली कवर्स द ऑल द सेक्टर्स ऑल द ब्रांचेज ऑफ केमिस्ट्री ऑल द मेजर ब्रांचेज ऑफ केमिस्ट्री so you should have just basic and a little bit of the advanced knowledge of your chemistry of all the uh, branches of chemistry right. so you can easily excel in the test and do some practice questions uh, some gre question practice practice questions you can get them from google right. or aap unko practice kar rahe hain you can just pass the test easily theek you talked about the performance in the bachelors agar kisi ne ms program mein apply karna of course so uh, dr farak is there a minimum cgpa that a student needs to have if they're applying for the program uh, so are you talking about ms or phd agar kisi ne ba- uh, ms mein karna hai to fir bachelors ka c- cgpa ah uh, so ms ke liye jo minimum gpa requirement hai wo 2.4 hai 2.4 but uh, we hardly gave admission to anybody with 2.4 yeah there so was most, a bad side to our admitted student they are usually okay. Uh, more than 3 gpa more but of course eli- people are eligible with 2.4 mm-hmm. and if they can do really well in the admission test they can get admission okay so theek hai matlab 2.4 ke sath they are eligible to apply but again as you mentioned ke hum uh, will take a holistic approach of yeah. course so we will so make course, sure so in actual merit there is a some weightage for the academics and there is some weightage to the admission test so if somebody really do well in the admission test they'll get in, in the subject test then he can compensate for that lower gpa but if performance in test is also kind of below average then of course it's not so the chances are dim then okay all right acha memuna we were right before the podcast we were talking about lums hostels lums life and we generally do not talk about uh, talk a lot about lums hostels so i'm i'm not sure if many of uh, if many of uh, the people who will, who will be watching the program would already know that we have 13 hostels in total seven for men and six for women So, what's the hostel life like? Hostel life. Uh, in the beginning, I was new into Lums, so it was a bit boring. Uh, but as just just like, after a little time, it's over. So, in the hostel ki itself, activities are very much more. Like, our last week we had a bonfire. Um, we had bonfire all girls' night. It was very fun. All girls' evening. and uh, we had fun with each other to hostel ki itself activities bhi hoti hain in hostels ki life uh, common rooms ho gaye everything is available hostels ke andar total facilities available hoti hain uh, students uh, ask ke room, rooms mein air conditioners bhi hote lekin common rooms mein obviously common rooms hote hain hai. facilities available hoti hain students wahan jaate hain hum log wahi pe hote hain aur uh, hostel ki life bhi bahut achhi hai main first time experience kar rahi hu hostel ki life तो मेरे लिए ये न्यू है बट इट्स गुड अभी तक बहुत अच्छा एक्सपीरियंस है सम सम जो स्टूडेंट्स خصوصی طور پہ باہر سے آنا ڈیفرنٹ سٹیز سے ٹریول کرتے ہیں ان کو ان کے لیے ائی تھنک یہ بہت بڑا بینیفٹ ہے کہ ولامس کے اندر ہی ہاسٹلز ہیں اندر ہی ہاسٹلز ہیں اینڈ اٹس ویری سیف اٹس ویری سیف ویری سیف ایز ا میٹر اف فیکٹ لامس از لوکیٹڈ ان لاہور ان دی ان ون اف دی موسٹ سیف ایریاز ائی ووڈ سے سو ڈاکٹر فلک ہمارے جو پروگرامس ہیں اسپیشلی جو پی ایچ ڈی کے جو پروگرامس آفر کرتے ہیں ہم لمس میں خصوصاً جو سائنس میں آفر کرتے ہیں آل فلی فنڈیڈ دے ہیو اسٹائپنڈ ایز ویل واٹ آر دا فنڈنگ اپرچونیٹیز اویلیبل ٹو اویلیبل ٹو اسٹوڈنٹس ہو ول بی اپلائنگ فار دا ایم ایس پروگرام سو ان ایم ایس دیر آر تھری ڈفرینٹ ٹائپس آف فنڈنگ اپرچونیٹی سو ون از دا میرٹ اسکالر شپ سو اسٹوڈنٹس ڈو گیٹ میرٹ اسکالر شپ ٹاپ ٹو اسٹوڈنٹس and that depends on their performance so first year they will get based on their uh, uh, the initial merit that is calculated at the time of admission okay. and then in the second year if they maintain their cgpa they remain the top two students they will get it again uh, if they do not get it then somebody else will get it so top two students will get merit scholarship so one gets fully funded uh, all tuition fee waived the other will get 50% fee waiver um, then uh, there are some financial aid and uh, loans interest free loans which are offered by lums mm-hmm. so if you can demonstrate your need and you can put up your case with proper documentation then students can uh, get some financial aid as well as some uh, loan which can be uh, reimbursed on very easily installments later on 
Uh, and then last year, uh, so we also got like five student, female students, uh, US aid scholarship from the HSC. So five females from our department, they were able to get it. The MS programs? Came MS program. So right. it covers everything. So it covers your tuition, it covers your living and everything for books and all that things. And this is being funded by HSC? Uh, yeah, so it is like US aid funded through HSC. Through HSC, all right. So it depends on uh, whether it will be for the next four year, five year, one year, three years, I don't know, but as long as it is there, that opportunity is also there, but this is only for females. If somebody wants to go for that, so how would they apply? Would, are they going to go through our process or will they have to apply no, to HTC so, as well? So they, uh, usually these are the students who are on kind of, uh, they are eligible for financial aid. They do get admission here, but Lums is paying for them. And then they will apply for the HSC and US aid scholarship. And they, if they are shortlisted after the interview, then uh, of course this scholarship will replace the uh, Lums funded loan or whatever is offered, oh, yeah. so they will start getting funding from there. Okay. And that, that funding is more than normally what LUMS offers. What LUMS offers, of course. So, so there's marriage scholarship, there's LUMS interest free loan, and there's HTC scholarship yeah. coming through, uh, yeah. uh, coming from USA through HTC, yeah. through, through LUMS, and uh, of course um, other avenues as well. But plus the PhD program is completely funded with a stipend. Yeah, so PhD program is for like fully funded for four years. Um, after four years, students will not get stipend, but of course they will not have to pay any fee. So even if they are in the fifth year, sixth year, they will not be paying any fee. Uh, and they also get minimum 60,000. So minimum 60,000. Minimum 60,000 per month uh, if they get admission. Which I have heard has just been increased from yeah, 50,000 to 60,000. In the, in the oh. last month. All right, does that motivate you to pursue a PhD program yes. here? <laughs> this is the only motivation. All right, okay, so a last question to you, Memuna. We've talked about the hostel life, we've talked about um, the department at large, of course. What about the university life? What's LUMS life like? We've heard that MS students have a lot of time to enjoy their university life. Is that true? This is true to some extent. When you're new to LUMS, uh, when I was new into LUMS, it was very difficult for me to maintain both the things. Mm -hmm. Like I was completely biased towards my studies or stress and everything. But just as you are used to it, you will stress that this will not continue. Mm -hmm. So uh, you learn how to balance between the two things. Mm -hmm. There is everything facility, uh, every facility available in the department, uh, in the department, in the campus. Like you go to gym, you go to sports complex, uh, swimming, and uh, apart from that, that society activities are always happening around some events, some music society or some dance society. Mm -hmm. There is always something happening. Okay. So it's uh, it's it's difficult to manage both the things, but just uh, continue your studies with saath Rose ka rose kaam aap daily basis pe agar apna kaam kar rahe hain, to aap obviously campus life bhi enjoy kar lete hain. Aur uh, Lums ki campus life is actually uh, very very interesting. Main jab ghar jaati hoon, to mujhse sab puch rahe hote hain ki okay kaise hai kaise hai. Main unko because uh, uh, jo mera previous experience hai, it's way too different from that. Right. It's way too different from that. It's very safe. It's I mean I used to be hoti hoon. If it's a prayer in the morning, it's a prayer in the morning, then I used to be able to work with my work. It's very safe. So you're never worried? Never worried. I have never experienced anything like that before. I was here before. It's very safe in Lums. Campus life is very good. It's like a family. Many people don't know you, but they become your family. You stay with me. People are very helpful. Or on the whole, campus life is actually very amazing and interesting. That's very true. Just now, you said that many people don't know you, but you're yes. working with them. Plus, people from s such diverse backgrounds. Yes, we learn so many things from them. Exactly. But the we have this stat that says that 46% of the students who are selling on campus, they are 46% uh, 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 of the students of LUMS are, uh, are using hostel facilities. Yes. So that means that many children are coming to LUMS, many students are coming to LUMS, they are coming to LUMS, they are different cities. So yes. of course that's also, that also speaks to the overall community, what's available to them of course. Well, thank you very much Dr. Falak, thank you very much Memona. It's been a wonderful discussion today with about the chemistry programs offered at the MS and the PhD levels of course. And thanks to you for joining us for this program. If you are considering to apply to either of the two programs offered at the graduate level at the Sayyid Babur Ali School of Science and Engineering Department of Chemistry, please make sure we're getting your application latest by 11th April. And if there's any confusion regarding the process or about the program, please make sure you're writing to us at admissions at lums.edu.bk. Thank you very much.